What's up, gang? Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. And if not, you're gonna learn today. So happy to have you here. The videos on this channel can really help to heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, or body image challenge. Everybody, please meet Zoe. She is a new addition to 2021. And happy 2021, everyone! I'm sure we have all been very much anticipating this new year being the atrocity that 2020 was. 2020 did end up being one of the most incredible years of my entire life. I have a lot of amazing things to share with you. So if you have been checking out my channel, or even if not, I'll let you know. The previous couple of videos that I have posted were about me purchasing my dream car. I ended up scaling my business during a pandemic to six figures by myself. I don't partner with any companies. I don't sell any products. However, it was about me sharing just the crazy huge things going on and how I was doing that. No more secrets. But it wasn't really about the acquisition of those things. It was more about how is this happening? What is happening? So I shared a little bit in those videos. However, I had many, many requests to please share how I do manifest things. I don't like to say the word manifest. A lot of people think of it as woohoo or call me now for your free tarot reading. And I'm not trying to poke at anyone who is very spiritual. I have a huge spiritual side myself. It's okay. I didn't get it the first time either. However, there's a lot more going on that is concrete, left-brained stuff. There is no secret ingredient. It's just you. So I'm the kind of person that no matter what I'm doing, no matter what I'm learning, I really want to know the science behind it. I want to know how is this really working? For me to go all in with something like the law of attraction and manifestation, first I want to know about quantum physics. I want to know about vibration, the law of vibration and what's going on. So I'm not going to touch on the sciencey details of that in this video because this video is about answering your requests to let you know the practical things that I did every day to create that kind of a life in a pandemic. So hang out with me. I'll take you through practical things that might resonate with you that you can do to manifest your own amazing life, no matter what is going on in the world or your life currently. It's all true. Now, the biggest thing I want to explain is that manifestation, it's not about sitting there and working with vibration so things just flow to you. It's really more of a relationship. It's working with vibration. The secret is you've got to coordinate. Uh -huh. Working with the universe. Most people don't coordinate. So you got to coordinate. Yes, that's what you did. How do you create that kind of a partnership in a way that will end up setting up these situations in your life for you to acquire the things that you want. So it's not about, you know, if you meditate hard enough, this car is just going to show up in your driveway. That's not really what's going to happen. But how are you forming your neurology, your mindset, your way of being and way of living in a way that lines up with the situations to get what you want? So let me start from the beginning. I learned about the law of attraction through Abraham Hicks. Now, I came across her on YouTube and she spoke a lot about vibration and how to work with vibration, how to set yourself up with vibration. Understanding vibration and understanding law of attraction gives you a skill set that only a small part of your civilization has stumbled on before. I'm going to show you two books that I read. I have read many, many books. I've been studying this now for many years and I only put it to use really practically in March, actually just before Corona, because I actually wanted to already do this in my life. I called it a two month experiment. I will explain that experiment, but these books, this is the Essential Law of Attraction Collection by Esther and Jerry Hicks. This is their complete works in one book. Absolutely, ridiculously valuable. Every single person should read this book, in my opinion. Obviously, I'm a little biased because I really do resonate with this, but this will give you all of the tools that you need. You want to back this up with science? Go ahead and read The Divine Matrix by Greg Braden. He talks about the actual things going on physically, scientifically, that teach you about how is this working with what is actually happening here? These two books together, you know, if you even just read these two without even everything else that I have studied over the years, you'd have everything that you need. So what is this two month experiment? Well, let's start with neuroscience a little bit. So picture every cell in your brain. <laughs> My cat has busy me. 
Picture every cell in your brain like a little ball covered in hundreds of tiny little antenna. These antenna, they are specific to each single emotion. So what were your dominant emotions? What have they been over the last two months? Are you more so worried, anxious, scared, depressed, sad? Are you projecting worries that maybe haven't even happened yet? Are you constantly thinking about things that have happened in the past and really feeling that emotional yuckiness about it? I'm in a glass case of emotion. The interesting thing is that in every two month time period, your cells are dividing and multiplying. That's how we continue living. And so as your cells divide and multiply, the new cell that's created is going to have more receptor sites on it specific to whatever emotions were your dominant thoughts creating. That's another really important thing to note. It's the emotion that carries the vibration, not the thought itself. So people could go around all day saying positive affirmations, but if there is no emotional result, emotional connection to those thoughts, it's not really going to help. It's the emotion that matters. So a lot of people are very negative thinkers, but it's not as easy as just saying think positively because it's going to take two months of consistent effort to get their new cells formed in a way that are specifically bringing more positive emotions to them. You need to create new cells with more positive receptors on them. Thanks, brain. That's the start. Then Abraham has mentioned a 15 minute workshop. Now the idea of this workshop is that you're going to sit in 15 minutes of your day. You must, must set the intention first. So I started doing this again at the beginning of March. I said, you know what, for two months, I'm gonna do this 15 minute workshop in a way that will help my cells change. And I got my own little trick that helped me as well that I will share with you to help boost that a bit. However, for 15 minutes, first you set the intention that you are absolutely not going to allow any thoughts of how I'm gonna achieve this how is not our business you know you could meet someone that you never anticipated meeting that has an opportunity for you that you've never anticipated that you've never even really thought of before how is what results from the vibrational shifting that you do within yourself and your surroundings so let's get back to the rest of the intention. No thoughts of fear or doubt either. Fear or doubt are thoughts that cause resistance. Resistance prevents vibration from moving in the way that it needs to freely. Control your emotions. All I did was I said, okay, for the next two months, for 15 minutes, every single day, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna sit there and I am going to just set the intention. I'm not gonna think about how I'm gonna achieve everything that I think of. I'm not gonna allow any thoughts of fear or doubt all I'm gonna do is imagine that my life, my body, my health, everything about my life Everything about my life is my ultimate dream. And somebody once said, dream big because dreams are free and there's no reason not to. You also need to set the intention that you're not doing this to achieve something. What you wanna do is you just wanna do this because of how good it's gonna feel. The good feeling is what creates that vibrational shift that then brings things to you. So it's just about feeling good. Once you get that positive emotional response, you just ride that as long as it lasts. Don't expect it to last forever. Don't be disappointed when it goes away because emotions are naturally supposed to ebb and flow, go up and down. Emotions are a natural guidance system. So every time we have a negative emotion about something, there is something that we are not in alignment with about that, that that is not serving our true selves and what we really want, our inner being, you know? So I imagined everything that exists now and, and then I did think it was unrealistic, but I didn't allow that to enter my mind during my 15 minutes. I just sat there. I I imagined my business was six figures. I imagined I had my absolute dream car. I imagined my cat. I imagined just feeling healthy and vital and just being my optimal self in my ultimate dream life. And it took some practice. You know, meditation is a practice for a reason. You have to learn to select your thoughts the same way that you select your clothes every day. Now that's a power that you can cultivate. And that's the only thing you should be trying to control. Because if you can't master your thoughts, you're in trouble forever. And so eventually I did feel that positive emotional response. It felt like a really excited, joyful butterflies bubbling up of happy energy in the gut. It could be akin to when you got the job you've always wanted or the first time you held your new baby 
Beauty. You can use previous experiences in your life to borrow that feeling from in a way that brings it on when you're dreaming of your future ultimate dream life. I also set an alarm. You need to set an alarm because an alarm neurologically allows you to just go fully into it because it removes from your brain any thoughts of what you might need to do later, what you might have forgotten yesterday, what the kids might need, what your husband or wife or whoever might need. Nobody needs anything from you right now. It is only 15 minutes. Set the alarm so you can just be fully present in that. Okay. Simply empty your mind. Oh my God, kill me. Remember, no fear, no doubt, no thoughts of how. Just sit there in how good it would feel if that, what you're dreaming of, was your present reality. And, and I had nothing at that time, but it just made me feel better. At that time, all it really was for me was kind of making me feel better. I would drive home and think, well, I do have these things. And they're out there. I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. That is number two biggest important point. Your subconscious cannot tell the difference between what is imagined and what is present time if you have the emotion with it. So if you get a positive emotional response, thinking of your, your own business being six figures, your own having your own dream car, your own super healthy body, whatever. If you imagine what would that feel like if that was my life right now in present time, if you can grab that emotional response with it, your subconscious can't tell the difference. Vibration shifts much more dramatically. And now, before the next show starts, let's enjoy an intermission. Surprise, I am splicing myself in here vlog style because when I finished recording that video, I forgot to mention to you all about how much you can do with your physical body. For your convenience, we shall keep you informed of the remaining intermission time. The next show will start in two minutes. By trade, what I am is an advanced holistic health practitioner, individualized nutrition and weight loss specialist. So I have been working with people that have MS, fibromyalgia, diabetes, cancer or people that just have simple overall health and weight loss goals for many many years and the only reason I'm mentioning that is because I use a lot of these practices in my practice with people the cells of your body respond to the thoughts that you have in a physical way so if somebody as a small example is wandering around saying I'm never gonna lose weight nothing ever works for me nothing will work for me I can't lose weight I won't lose weight their metabolism will slow down in response to those thoughts. This is a huge, huge tip. So for people who also have a more serious health condition, if people are you know, condemning themselves to that end result, unfortunate prognosis of the diagnosis, and they doom themselves to it, assuming that, of course, because I have this, it's only gonna go terribly, it's only gonna end up killing me in the end. The cells of the body respond in kind. However, if you're able to, in your 15 minutes, or in another 15 minutes even, other parts of the day, in your vision board, does not matter, if you are able to imagine what would it feel like for your body to to be optimally healthy and vital and your cells healing. The power of this has been scientifically measured before. In that book, The Divine Matrix by Greg Braden, you will see that. Hello, Zoe, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Anyway, I am not by any means touting that to cure anybody at all, but it will help. It can work. I have seen it work and I do believe that it's possible. So I'm not trying to blow smoke up anyone's butt. And again, I will never tout that that cures anything. I'm just saying I've seen some pretty miraculous things happen. If you want to check out more about that particular situation, check out the documentary Heal that was on Netflix. Check out Joe Dispenza. He is incredible and he has done things miraculously for himself health wise and anyhow I will catch you back at the actual video now okay so moving on my third biggest tip for you is I got a brand new book now Please note this book has to be an empty notebook and brand new, empty. It doesn't have to be new essentially, but just empty, fresh. This book is not for figuring stuff out in, for hashing out negative feelings, anything like that. This book is strictly to be called, what Abraham suggested, the book of wins. Now, I did it a little bit differently. I set the intention that I am only going to write positive things in here that are wins that I have found from my day, every day. And so it's very simple 
similar to the idea about you buy a car, you've never really seen that car out and about around before, but now you see it everywhere. It's the same principle or an exercise that people have done where you close your eyes, think of the color yellow, and then open your eyes, you start to see yellow things you wouldn't have noticed otherwise. So it's about tuning your perception now to work with that 15 minute meditation that you've done. We forget to strengthen our focus. The mind is like a muscle. The more you train it, the stronger it becomes. I wrote in here everything that happened at the end of my day. It's almost like the gratitude journal, but I found it to be much more practical for my life. It resonated with me a lot more than just the gratitude journal. At the end of the day, I simply tried to write down every single win that I had experienced that day. There are things in here that range from getting a really great parking spot that I don't think I ever have gotten before or I didn't think I would get to, oh my gosh, I found $5 in an old pocket to buying my absolute dream car. So there are things in here that range from the smallest, tiniest little thing that seems totally silly to the biggest life achievement that I didn't expect to have short of retirement. Forever. So that's the book of wins. I did that every single day. I did the meditation every single day. Any dominating idea, plan, or purpose held in the mind through repetition of thought and emotionalized with a burning desire for its realization is taken over by the subconscious section of the mind and acted upon through whatever natural and logical means that may be available. You might just as well blow in the wind as to make a statement unless you put some feeling back of it. Unless you believe it, you will find that if you emotionalize any plan that you send over to your subconscious mind and repeat it in a state of enthusiasm and back it up with a spirit of faith, if you do that, subconscious mind not only acts more quickly, but it acts more definitely and more positively. And another thing to note is if you do this meditation at night when you're falling asleep for the night, be careful because you don't want to fall asleep and then, you know, you're not getting the job done. But if you can do it right before you fall asleep and then you fall asleep in that positive vibration, your subconscious will kick in because your consciousness suspends itself while you sleep. And you wake up then in the morning in the same type of vibe that you went to bed in. And if that's a really good vibe, you're setting yourself up for a really good day. And then if I ever had a crappy day or I was in a down mood, we don't have that, right? Like it's not about being Pollyanna happy. It's about honoring your emotions and letting them teach you using them as the guidance system that they are. My friends, this is a warfare of happiness versus perceived happiness. However, if I ever had a bad day or I was just feeling down or whatnot, I would just read through the book and all of a sudden my perception completely shifted. And then I remember I had a week in my life this year where every single thing that could go wrong did go wrong everything and of course I'm sharing that with those closest with me in a you know in a positive way because it's not about venting and dumping that on someone it's about you know just sharing about what's going on in your life and I remember talking to one person specifically and I told them my week and they said I can't understand how your mindset is this way and I said well what do you mean and they said every single thing that could go wrong did go wrong and you have just mentioned something positive that you had noticed from every single thing like did you even notice that everything was going wrong because you're talking about how cool it was that that happened because of something positive. And I thought, oh my gosh, that actually blew my mind. And this was quite near the end of the two month experiment that I had done. By the way, that experiment never ended. I'm still going and still things are happening that are crazy in my life. However, I realized that I am no longer perceiving things as negative. I'm no longer perceiving things the way that I used to. I am now perceiving every single thing in my life as positive and what it, that is drawing back to me is more positivity from those situations. And so it is very practical. It's not about this woohoo manifestation. It's about how are you changing your mindset to react with the vibration in your body which reacts with the vibrations around us. So it's much like you thinking of a song that you haven't heard in a while and all of a sudden it comes on the radio or you're thinking about this person and you haven't spoken to in a while, all of a sudden they contact you out of the blue. It's much, much, much like that because everything is vibration and everything is connected. Go check out quantum physics if you want to learn a little bit more deeply about that. Curiosity often leads to trouble. Oh, 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 oh. Another fun thing to do, and this was just a fun thing that I did was I made a vision board. This was the vision board and I would 
think about the stuff on here. There's quotes on here. There's pictures of stuff. There's places I want to go. There's a dream house there. And I'm using it as a tool though, because yes, it's fun to just make, but you can actually use that as a tool. You can use it to look at. As I look at this, maybe I'm looking at my favorite place in the world that I can't wait to go to again when I can travel again. Maybe I'm looking at the dream house. But as I look at this, when I see it, I'm seeing the images and I'm imagining that to be my present time. I'm imagining, you know, tomorrow I'm going to go to this place. You know, I'm going to move into that house. And how does that feel? The vibration bubbles up. I ride that as long as it lasts and I carry on throughout my day. I keep writing in the book of wins and it is next to effortless now. I wanna say next to effortless because I don't feel effort in doing this but I'm still doing things. Like I still have practices that I'm doing. However, you can perceive it as effortless. Anyways, that is my response to all of the questions for please make a video about how you're actually doing this. How are you manifesting this? So every time you do get something, I want you to please pay attention. I heard a quote once that said, are you enjoying your current manifestation? As human beings, we are goal oriented beings. We are constantly striving, constantly reaching. You know, you can buy the dream car and then all of a sudden it's just your daily car and you're just in it. You're not really thinking about it anymore. You're on to the next. There is a huge, huge importance, aka the gratitude journal, of sitting in everything that you have created for yourself. You know, if somebody told me last year, very beginning of last year, that I would have my dream business, my dream car, I would have my dream life right now, my body would be ideally the exact way I've always wanted it. If someone had told me that at the beginning of last year, I would appreciate it, but I can honestly say, I don't think I would have believed it. I would have thought, yeah, that's gonna be really nice but oh my gosh and so I am consciously grateful every single time I get into that car I think this is incredible like I check myself I sit in how good it feels that this is now because that is maintaining the vibration so yes you could do this in a meditation yes you could do this every time you look at your vision board however can you do it throughout the day? Can you really sit? You know, if someone told me I would have this home, I wanted this home so unbelievably bad at one point in my life, and then it just became what it was. I didn't really notice, and now I think about it every day I wake up, and every single day I'm pinching myself. And so that's my, probably the biggest tip about everything. What have you created in your life right now? Like maybe your life right now is not the way you want it. You know, aside. maybe your life right now is not the way you want it. What is in your life that you have that you really enjoy, that you got for yourself, that you really appreciate, that you don't want to live without? Can you sit there for a moment every day and just feel how good it is to have that? Like it's amazing. Sometimes life is actually amazing. And I also heard a quote that somewhere somebody wishes they had your life so there you go I hope that answers some questions I hope maybe that resonates with you and you would like to try the two-month experiment I don't know but thank you so much for watching please subscribe to the channel subscribing really is where the support does come from for youtubers it's so unbelievably exciting when people do subscribe it's so much of a boost it means the world so please please subscribe please give this video a like with the thumbs up down there if you liked it if maybe you thought it was interesting if you found value in it or if you'd like to try it throw a thumbs up as that really does help my channel grow please hit that little bell notification down there if you would like notifications of each time I post a new video and until next time have super amounts of fun in your life have super amounts of fun manifesting your own biggest dreams oh and in case I don't see you good afternoon good evening and good night <laughs>